In this video, I will be building a fish tank using 10,000 Lego. We're even gonna test it out by adding real fish. I love fish. So when I heard that Lego released its first ever fish tank, I got really excited. Like, really excited. And this gave me an idea. What if we built the world's first ever fish tank made entirely of Lego? Now, I've built some crazy fish tanks in the past, like this Minecraft tank made with real stone cubes and these Pokemon tanks made with super-sized Pokemon cards. So, how hard could building a Lego tank really be? Building a fish tank out of Lego has never been done before. Legos have about 0.2 millimeter gap, so it's going to be extremely difficult to waterproof. If we want to create a real Lego fish tank, we're gonna need to think outside the box. This is gonna be really challenging. And I have a challenge for you. Can you find the blue, green, and red sea creatures hidden somewhere in this video? Before we start, let's order the Lego fish tank online. This toy comes with over 300 pieces of Lego and even comes with tiny fish and a submarine. If we can waterproof this, we can hopefully build a much bigger Lego tank with real fish. This is taking ages, so I'm gonna speed it up for you. Wow, this little Nemo and tiny Dory are so cute, but the fish we are getting are even cuter. This fish tank doesn't hold a drop of water. This isn't a fish tank at all. Then it hit me. What if we could cut tiny pieces of glass to create the walls? Then our Lego fish tank will be enclosed and hopefully hold water. This was harder than it looks. Despite my best efforts, I cracked all of the glass. Spy movies make this look way too easy. After hours of cutting, I managed to get five pieces that kind of work. Let's glue them to our Lego tank. This is looking pretty good. The glue is dry and it's time to fill it up. Wow, okay, it's holding water. I honestly didn't expect that. Let's complete the look with some sand, tiny plants, and this little light. It's too small for fish, but let's add a tiny snail. That's the fastest snail I've ever seen. With a bit more work, we should be able to waterproof our giant Lego tank. Our Lego tank needs to be way bigger if we want to add real fish. I found this giant three foot Lego base plate. Our fish tank will be 12 inches tall, which means it'll weigh over 166 pounds when it's filled with water. So we're gonna need a lot of Lego. The only problem is these things cost about 19 cents each, and we're gonna need over 10,000 of them. That's a lot of money if we fail. Amidst my despair, I had an idea. There's a Legoland in Chicago. What if they sell cheaper Lego in the right colors? Let's go check it out. This place is insane. Check out all of these Legos. They have tons of Lego here, but not the kind we need. But I couldn't leave Legoland empty-handed. We'll need to find a new strategy to get our Lego. Back at the studio, I found a bulk Lego supplier on eBay. It looks like I can get the cost down to five cents per Lego. But there's a catch. They only come in random colors, and I only want blue and green bricks like the ocean. Two days later, the Lego arrived. We have over 100 pounds of Lego to sort through by hand. We want to separate these chunky blocks. If I can sort through thousands of Lego, you can subscribe to this channel. I'll spare you four days of your life watching me sort through a million Lego. Let's build the fish tank. I'm going to use these blue base plates and super glue to ensure the floor of the tank is watertight. Look at my hands. I'm starting to feel like a little bit of a rough dial. Hopefully, the bond between the super glue and Lego will be enough to waterproof the tank. If any of these are misplaced, we're gonna have a serious problem. These stick like no other. This block is literally stuck to my finger. This may be the most tedious build yet. While we wait for the glue to dry, I'm giving away another Wet Pets Aquarium kit. It comes with everything you need for your first fish tank. So subscribe right now for your chance to win. Last week, Nicholas from Michigan won. Congratulations, Nicholas. After hours of gluing, I finished building the three Lego walls. These look awesome. But before we fill it up, we need a viewing window. If we build this out of Lego, we won't be able to see inside the fish tank. I'm going to use this glass and silicone for our viewing window. This is perfect. I can't wait to see my fish swimming around in there. While we wait for our glass to set, let's build our Legoland accessories. I have this cool bonsai tree and a succulent garden. These are going to look great in our tank. It's finally time to fill up our Lego fish tank. This is the moment of truth. It's looking good. The water is holding. There's water everywhere. This isn't watertight at all. I'm really starting to doubt that this is even possible. I'm starting to worry. To make matters worse, we have a second problem. The silicone is not sticking to the Lego. It turns out silicone and plastic are a terrible mix. We need a new plan. 
first, we need to remove all the glass and excess silicone from the tank. This is painfully tedious. To stop the Lego bricks from leaking, we're gonna use this liquid rubber. You may be thinking I'm crazy with this, but trust me, I have a plan. This stuff smells terrible and needs to be three layers thick to work. While we were building, the fish arrived. These are Lyra Tail Mollies. They're yellow and black, kinda like the Lego logo. I can't wait to see them explore their new tank. Let's give them a snack. Time to get back to business. Finally, we need to solve the glass issue. Maybe we can order clear Lego to make our Lego windows. Then I remembered that plastic sticks best to plastic. If we use an acrylic window, our Lego tank should be waterproof. Let's cut our acrylic to size and install it using this acrylic glue. Okay, now we're talking. This looks awesome. While the acrylic window sets, let's build a custom Lego stand. We're going to use this pile of brown bricks because they kind of look like wood. The columns are super flimsy and our tank is going to weigh over 100 pounds. There is no way this is going to work. Let's make a quick run to Home Depot. You're making a fish tank out of Legos with real fish though. We're going to use 2x4s to support the weight of the tank and this thin sheet of plywood around the outside. There's something so satisfying about woodwork. Thankfully, our Lego wood isn't going to waste, and now we can really be certain the stand won't collapse. Let's give it a quick stress test. I'm feeling pretty good, but if the tank leaks, this will have all been for nothing. We're going to create a second wall of Lego to strengthen the tank and hide the black exterior. This is going to use every last brick I have. I really hope this works. We don't have a plan B. Will this be the world's largest Lego aquarium or just some leaking mess? We've spent thousands on Lego and countless hours. I even made this Lego rim to make it look like a real fish tank. I just hope this works. We're about halfway. I just stopped it because I heard some creaking in the Lego. I think I'll cry if this thing breaks on me. It's full, but I'm still nervous. If this survives 24 hours without leaking, we've done the impossible. It's the next day and the tank is still standing. This looks insane. Now it's time to add the exciting finishing touches. First, we can't have a fish tank without a light. I'm going to remove these LEDs and recreate the light entirely in Lego. This looks amazing. It's time to add our Lego accessories. I want to add nature back into this tank of plastic, so I'm going to add natural white sand. Let's also add some greenery to our bonsai tree and plants for our fish to hide. I'm even putting this Lego scuba diver in to watch the fish. Let's fill up our Lego tank for the last time. It's been a few weeks and it's finally time to add our new fish. They look so happy. Let's give them a Lego colored snack. Check out these Lego men. To them, this fish tank is 2 million gallons and 140 feet long. This was a super fun experiment, but it's time to welcome my fish to their forever home. We just made a fish tank out of 10,000 Lego. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you here next week.